Hi, my name's Dr. Nina Carlier and I'm based at the Institute of Cardiovascular Sciences here at the University of Birmingham. I'm interested in the small blood vessels of the heart and the big health problems they can cause when they fail to function properly. Cardiovascular diseases are the number one cause of death worldwide. And most of these deaths are due to a heart attack, which occurs when one or more of the major arteries of the heart become blocked, depriving the surrounding muscle of essential oxygen and nutrients. Now, for many patients, this can be successfully treated with an intervention such as a stent, which reintroduces blood back into the heart muscle. Despite this, for a significant number of patients, reperfusing the heart can lead to extensive muscle damage, which can then go on to progress to heart failure. My group believes this may be due to unresolved problems, not in the large, but the small blood vessels of the heart. However, these are not visible to cardiologists with the current clinical imaging tools available to them. In fact, what can be seen with angiography is a very small percentage of the heart's vasculature. My group uses powerful intravital imaging which allows us to look at even the smallest capillaries of the beating heart in experimental models of ischemia, reperfusion injury. We've already demonstrated a number of perturbations taking place within the coronary capillaries after ischemia and then reperfusion. Ultimately, a whole host of thromboinflammatory cellular and molecular events leave the heart muscle significantly underperfused. Central to our research is investigating how comorbidities such as age and diabetes increase the susceptibility of the coronary microcirculation to injury after a heart attack. Find out more about our research on my staff profile, the microcirculation group webpage, and also by following us on Twitter.